Hey guys, it's Ruth. It's been gone a little while, but spring is coming, so we're just so excited. Uh, one of the things I talked about was trying to show a little bit of the routine. If you can see my hair, which is just as crazy as can be, has been neglected for several days, out flying kites, trying to do wash and goes with 4ABC hair, which is a no, 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 no. Sleeping on it, no protective styling, so first time in a long time that it's turned to straw, but we're going to fix that. We're going to, at least I'm going to show some of the things that I do to get it back into shape. So, pain down cameraman. I had a lot of questions about the onion rinse. If you can make tea, you can make onion skin rinse. No simpler than the onion skins in the hot water and let it steep. And I usually steep it twice. I throw the skins away, of course, that day, but I normally will make a rinse and make a second rinse. In this bottle, I have the onion skin rinse, which is basically just the essence of the onion skin and the hot water. And this one is the tonic. And while we're talking about the tonic, let's, let's pan up, baby. Some people ask, how is the tonic used? It can be used by men, women, anyone that's having issues with their hair. Well, I should say their scalp, because mainly this is something for the scalp killing the nits and mice and th not mice I hope you don't have mice in your hair nits things like that in your hair uh, mites is what I'm saying MIT you can spray this on the scalp pre before you wash your hair you can do it post but it is a leave-in if you have really dry sensitive skin because it does have alcohol you can dilute it which is what I normally do I usually do half of the rinse and half of distilled water with the onion rinse, you don't have to rinse that out either. I usually do a pre, I get the scalp really well pre, and we'll go over that in a second. I get every part of the scalp before I wash the hair and massage it in really well. And I know it's dripping on me and that's okay. It's, okay, I had to stop mid-sentence and change my batteries. But anyway, like I was saying with the spray, this is just the onion rinse. I will do all the parts and massage it in and then rinse the hair before I put any kind of cleanser, mainly because I'm wanting to rinse any germs, any fungus, anything like that that could be in the hair because you never know. Now as far as the onion skin tonic, I used to do this at least once a week. Since the issues that I, were, I was having are pretty much cleared up, I maybe do it once a month now. But if you're having lots of issues, I would recommend you do this at least twice a week. If you're going to do this twice a week, you have to wash your hair twice a week because you're wanting to rinse that stuff out. Not so much the tonic, but whatever the nits or fungus or whatever it is that's killing it. Because a lot of people run into problems with baldness or losing their hair because they have some type of scalp issue. Can we pan down the cameraman? The shampoo, you've seen me make and use this before. This is the aloe vera shampoo, which can also be used as a conditioner. You can see how thick and creamy that is. You can always add a little bit of xanthan gum, which is what I did with the second one. The reason that they're going to be two different colors is because of the oil. The first one, the aloe vera shampoo, has, you know, the coconut milk, the aloe vera juice, and the olive oil. This one has, uh, instead of the olive oil, I use the red palm oil. They're pretty much the same consistency, nice and thick. This one is a little bit runnier. This one is a whole lot thicker. I will use the aloe vera, the first batch, just for the cleansing. But because my hair is so dry and palm oil is so excellent for conditioning the hair, I will use the second one for a deep conditioner with a plastic bag for a couple of hours. But we're going to go to the bathroom and I'm going to show you some of the things that I talked about and we'll come back in just a second. Okay guys, like we're in the bathroom now. Like I was saying, the hair is super dry. We are wanting to get in there either with the rinse or like I said with the tonic, whichever one you want to use. I have a bigger bottle for the tonic but I can't find it. You're wanting to make sure that you get every part of the scalp. See how dry my hair is. I have been so neglectful this week, but you know, we all have days that we do that. So that's the way life is sometimes. That's why I'm going to have to bring it back to what it used to be. But we'll come back to the tonic because it sprays too slowly for me. Get that scalp really, really well. Try not to miss any spots. You do not have to spray the tonic. You can all, I mean the rinse, you can always just pour it over the scalp. 
I'm just wanting to get it deep into that scalp and massage it in and then rinse the hair and then I'll come back and I'll show you the shampoo. And I'm going to pause and get the entire scalp and get that massaged in really well and rinse out any product that I have. And as you can see, once you get a little bit of moisture on the hair, it's going to come back anyway. But that onion, I don't know, that stuff is, has been one of the best things I've made. We're going to pause for a second. I'm going to rinse my hair and I'll be right back. Okay guys, we rinsed out the product that we already had from our previous twist out, curls, whatever you want to say that you've done to your hair. A little bit softer, a little bit bouncier, but still has to be cleansed. We have our aloe vera shampoo. We're going to squeeze some of that out in the hand. Nice and creamy. Get us a handful and smooth that in a bit. And we'll pin that hair back a bit. Let me get a pin. And I'm doing this as a request. So if you think, why is she taking us through that whole process? Because people ask me to. Oh, got a big drop. And let me divide that open. And put a bit on the scalp too. This stuff works so excellent. It's just unbelievable. For me, it works excellent. Uh, some of the ladies who have used it say it's been a great thing. There's a similar product that you can buy in the store, but uh, you're going to spend at least $20, $30. And uh, for me, that's just unacceptable. Get those ends really well. Get into that shed hair out. You're always going to have shed hair, so don't think it's just you. It smooths it out. A moment ago, you saw me kind of looking like a fraggle. <laughs> and uh, smooths the length of that hair out. Let's see here. With it being wet, let's do a little length check. People are always interested in that, but here we go. All right. If it was any longer than that, I think I'd have to kill that husband of mine because I don't know why men are so infatuated by that hair thing. It's unfreaking believable if you ask me. And I am the most terrible twister in the world, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there. There we go. We got one done and how many more to go? Uh, I, of course, not going to show you the entire boring part of me going through my entire head. I think you'd probably send me hate mail if that was the case. We're going to get this hair detangled and I'm going to rinse this out. And then I'm going to come back and show you the deep conditioner. And I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> I'm only going to take a minute of this just to show you after I get all the twists in. Then I spray it again with the onion wrap and rinse it out. And then I'll condition it. A little too hot. There we go. Really, really softens the hair up very nicely. Feels real good on the scalp too. Gets rid of all that crunchy dry hair. And hair is nice and clean and supple and soft. Just the way I like it. But let me get done rinsing and I'll show you the conditioning. I'll do that. Okay guys, we rinsed it all out and I've pinned up the twist. We got all the aloe vera shampoo out. Uh, let me let you look at it. Nice and springy curls. I don't think I rinsed it all out, but that's fine because I got other stuff to do. Real good movement. As you can see, as soon as I let it go, it starts to shrink like crazy. <laughs> but that's for ABC hair. We're going to hit it again with that rinse. Because not only is it good for killing the dandruff and things like that, it's also good for smoothing 
And since I'm doing a deep conditioner on it, I'm going to be using the aloe vera shampoo with the red palm oil as the deep conditioner. Still smells nice and good. Put a little bit of that in. See how easy it is if you want to live a natural life. You don't have to go store bought all the time. If you got 10 to 30 minutes in your kitchen, anything that you need for your skin, your body, your hair, what have you, you can make it at home. Uh, no preservatives are in it, no chemicals. Everything that I put on my hair, uh, in my scalp, was something that I actually could have put in my mouth. So, I don't know about you guys, I am big into saving that money for vacation. Go to Hawaii, go to Tahiti, places like that. And uh, I don't want all those chemicals on me if possible. So we got one done. And once I get them all done, um, let me take another one down so you can see. Once I get them all done and uh, clipped up, and there's a little raggedy end right there, I will put a paper bag or a plastic bag, I should say, on the scalp and uh, let it sit for about an hour. Rinse it again. At the very end, I'll put some of the onion tonic on it uh, and leave that actually. And then I'll do my twists with my butters. Probably my shea butter or my one plus one cream. Sometimes I do the gel, but since I've done a deep conditioner and it's nice and moist, more than likely I won't be doing any of the gel type things. But uh, I'm gonna get finished with this. And at the very end, I'll show you some of the finished twist and then that'll conclude the video. But for all the ones that ask, onion tonic, onion rinse. You don't have to rinse it out. Man, woman, or child, none toxic. No build up, so choice is yours. I gotta get done. I'll see you in a minute. Okay guys, we're finally done. I actually went to sleep on the couch, but anyway. Rinsed out the conditioner. Well, the deep conditioner. You know the aloe vera, the one with the uh, palm oil. Let's open that up. See, it's all nice and springy now. Doesn't look like the, the dry bush I had earlier. You can see that 4C in there. Kind of fluffy, cottony. A little bit of swirl, a little bit of wave here and there. Still got a little bit of swing. I don't have anything else on it. Uh, one of the young ladies who asked me were the products able to be used for Caucasian hair. It depends on what your hair needs. If your hair is very oily, you may want to leave the oil out of this. Or if you need just a little bit of oil, put a teaspoon in the conditioner or maybe even half a teaspoon and maybe uh, do a light uh, rinse afterwards with a, a mild shampoo. It just depends on what your hair, all shampoo can be used by anyone. It just depends on what your hair needs. Marketing, old man, if we, we don't want to get into that. But we're going to end up putting some shea butter mix because I'm not going to do gel this time and uh, ended up doing some twist and get started on this. I'm not going to film that part because uh, the cameraman I think has uh, had enough fun with me today and he has stuff that he has to do on his own. So we're going to get started on the twist. I'll do one twist. Let me uh, get that detangled. And that's another thing. I am uh, terrible at twisting and terrible at detangling also. I do a lot of finger detangling but I'm not all into it. It's got to be as smooth as silk and I hardly ever use the comb so the parts are never what they're supposed to be but you know it just depends on what you like to do uh, whatever you want to use for your hair this has worked really well for me giving me the results that I wanted which was uh, thick healthy hair I thought at one point that it was uh, supposed to be length but uh, I'll be 50 soon and uh, I don't have time for all that twisting. I don't have time to have long flowing Rapunzel hair even if that's what my husband thinks. Sorry cameraman. <laughs> but uh, thank you guys for uh, watching and comments or questions. I hope that the questions especially were answered about the routine and also about the onion rinse. Spray it as many times as you want during the process and spray it afterwards and leave it in. If you're going to do the tonic no more than twice a week, you're going to have to wash your hair twice a week and dilute it because of the alcohol base that's in it. But uh, I hope this helped and if you have any questions just send me a comment. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.